Hello and welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is Effective Annual Interest. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's talk about first the definition of terms. So first one is the nominal interest rate. It is the also defined as stated interest rate. So this is the rate written on the contract. Second, the effective interest rate is the one which caters the compounding periods during a payment plan. So let's talk about the effective annual rate or commonly known as AAR. So this is also known as effective rate. So whenever we say effective rate, it is the real return on a saving account or any interest paying investment when the effect of compounding over time are taken into account. Also, it reveals the real percentage rate owned in the interest on a loan, a credit card, or any other debt. For the benefit of our discussion, so we will use this formula. So EAR or effective annual rate is equal to 1 plus R over N raised to N minus 1 such that N is equal to the frequency in a year while R is the nominal rate. So let us consider this example. So what is the effective rate of an investment at 9% compounded quarterly? So before we solve this, let's identify the given. So the given R or the nominal rate is equal to 9% and N is equal to 4. Take note our frequency is equal to 4 because it was mentioned there, it will be compounded quarterly. So we will use the formula EAR is equal to 1 plus R over N raised to N minus 1. Then we will substitute the values of R and N respectively. Okay, so with the aid of our calculator, so our EAR is equal to 9.31%. Take note that the effective rate is greater than our nominal rate of 9%. If we want to know the relationship of the compounding frequency and the effective annual rate, let us consider this example. Mr. Francisco wishes to find the effective annual rate for his loan in ABC Bank with a 5% nominal annual rate when the interest is compounded. So let us consider, okay, here. So the frequency is 1 if we have, okay, compounded annually. So the effective annual rate is equal to 5%. But if we have semi-annually, so it means that the frequency is 2, so our effective rate is 5.06%. Also, if we have quarterly, so the frequency is equal to 4, so we have effective annual rate of 5.09. For monthly, so the frequency is 12, so the effective rate is 5.12%. And finally, we have daily. So our frequency is 365. So the effective annual rate is 5.13. Observe that as the frequency increases, our effective annual rate increases. So here, we can say that it is safe that as the frequency increases, your effective annual rate also increases. Based from the simple experiment a while ago, we can say that as the frequency increases, the effective annual rate also increases. So that is why to protect the consumer, so the Truth in Lending Act for banks and other financial institutions was established. This, this requires that they disclose the effective interest rates for a loan products to borrowers. Also, the effective rate should reflect on the service charges and other deductions from the loan proceeds. Let us consider this as third example. What interest rate compounded monthly has an effective rate of 15%? So this time, the interest rate is given or the effective annual interest is given. And we want to find out the nominal rate. So let's start from the given such that the effective annual rate is equal to 15% and the frequency is equal to 12. And we want to find out the nominal rate. Based from our formula, effective annual rate is equal to 1 plus R over N raised to N minus 1. So, I'll substitute the given values. 
So I have 15% is equal to 1 plus R over 12 raised to 12 minus 1. Take note that the R is your nominal rate. If I'll manipulate this one a little bit, guys, so I'll come up with the nominal rate is equal to the frequency times the expression 1 plus effective annual rate raised to 1 over n minus 1. Then we will substitute the given values again. So we have 12 times 1 plus 15 percent raised to 1 over 12 minus 1. Computing this one, guys, with the aid of our calculator, the value is actually R is equal to 14.06%. So this is our nominal rate. Take note that, that the nominal rate is always lower than your effective annual rate. To summarize, the nominal interest rate is the stated interest rate, but the effective interest rate caters the compounding periods during a payment plan. And take note also that the nominal rate is always less than your effective annual interest rate.